Okay, at 1.40 p.m. on February 4th, I made note of this plane, seeing this plane fly over. This plane flew over my apartment complex. Um, and I note that I've seen it before, mostly around 2017, and I saw it in dreams before that. So I actually first had this dream before I moved into this apartment, I don't know at what point, in the other house, where it was just this dream where I saw all these amazing planes in the sky. In one case, it was actually a plane carrying the space shuttle on its back. Um, and there were a whole bunch of other crazy, just flying really low all over the place, just amazing, amazing things in the sky that, you know, I was very excited about seeing. Then I had this dream again around 2017. And then I walked to... This was May 2017. I walked to the reservoir. I was walking around the reservoir, and that's when I first saw a drone in the sky that was really obvious, a drone. And it was sort of, you know, giving itself away as being a drone. And I, so I first saw this thing, and I thought it was a star. Your mind, you know, your, tra your mind is trained to see these and think they're stars. But I kind of did a double take, because like the ones that I've shown that I've seen lately and, and photographed and shown on YouTube. It was low in the sky. It was early in the evening. It was extremely bright. I'd never seen a star there before, and there were no other stars in the sky anywhere around. So I thought, that's kind of weird. What is that? And at the time, I thought, you know, what is it? Is it like that? I, I thought saw it as being a manned, because I didn't think of, I, for some reason, I don't know why, I didn't think of drones. That wasn't the first thing I thought of thought my mind went to things like a you know ufo before it went to a drone weirdly um and i had to kind of logic myself through this you know reason through it and say no if it's hovering in the sky like that because what then happened was it followed me around right and it disappeared and then it would reappeared on the other side of the reservoir and um kind of followed me and then it followed me home and it seemed to like follow me like a balloon and I was playing these games with it where I was trying to stop really fast and turn around because it seemed like it would follow me and I could kind of see it tracking me. And then I was trying to see if it I could trick it and make it keep moving when I stopped. And it seemed to track me so closely it knew when I was stopped. But if I turned around real quick, I could catch it moving. This was before I realized I had implants in my bodies and I thought this thing was visually tracking me. Now I know it was probably honed into um, an implant and following me a certain distance away based on that. And then when I got home, it positioned itself right above the house next to another star-like object, which I later realized was also a drone, and just stayed above my house. When I saw that drone, as soon as I left it, uh, it followed me around the reservoir, and when I left the reservoir as soon as I stepped out onto the street. All these planes started to fly over. So the whole time I was walking around the reservoir, although at this time I had frequently seen a lot of planes or drones flying over, I just saw them as being planes at the time. There was nothing going on except the single star-like drone following me around. And then as soon as I left the reservoir and I started walking out on the street, all these planes flew by, including this one. So the back... The plane itself kind of looks like a capsule shape, and then in the back, the tail is split in two. I don't know why it's like that. And then, you know, it's got a tail. And it looks like a box and, you know, a frame in back of the plane. And I felt like later, because I saw the word Fendi in a dream, either probably before this, I felt like maybe it was a link. It was a visual one of the things I might be doing was linking to the Fendi logo, which looks like this. Like a box shape. 